Camera speeding. What does that mean? Well, I've got an internet. This is Delete History, episode one. First, let's deal with the elephant in the room. Sorry, ladies, I'm married. Secondly, I know exactly what you're thinking. Damn, you're old and certainly too old to be making internet videos about the internet. Well, you're right, I am too old, especially in internet years. And today I'm gonna to show you the signs to look out for to make sure you're not internet old too and didn't even realize it. Number one, you recognize this sound. <laughs> oh my word, so annoying. The horror that was dial-up internet, and it used to go on for ages and ages. Other drawbacks of this ancient internet include installation CDs, being cut off when your auntie Linda rang, oh mum, and being charged by the minute. Yes, the minute, and this is back in the day when it used to take hours to load anything. Number two, loading anything took forever. And that, my friends, is what we call in the business a segue. Yes, even a basic image took ages to load and was revealed bit by bit like some kind of cruel tease. What? You know, when I say tease, I, I obviously don't mean anything, anything dirty. Number three, you have a hotmail.com email address. Before .co.uk, before live, before Outlook, a hotmail.com address is the only one you'd be seeing dead sending emails from. If you still have one, you should wear it like a badge of honor. I've still got one, but it's not the first one I had, which was really, really cringy and named after a terrible Kung Fu film. Not ideal for job applications. What was your first email handle? Let us know in the comments below. Number four, you know what ASL stands for. Before chat apps, before social networks, before private messengers, there were these really weird little websites called chat rooms. These saw the weird and the wonderful of the internet converge to talk to each other on message boards. If I had to describe it, I'd say it's kind of like that 90s film, the net, but obviously a lot more boring, and unfortunately, no 90s Sandra Bullock. I appreciate it, thank you. People used even weirder handles and email addresses and used weird acronyms that have since become extinct. One of the most popular chat room shortcuts was ASL, age, sex, location. This quickly let you know whether or not you were barking up the wrong tree, because you know what? I don't want to be talking to some bricklayer from Burnley. This was especially useful as there was no profile pictures. Anonymity, old school. Number five, your favorite website looked like it was made in Microsoft Word. Back in the wild west of the internet, websites were seriously ugly, seriously ugly. No UX, no UI, and barely a hint of white space to be seen across the entire web. But we coped, our eyes knew no better. In fact, some of these atrocities are still available to look at. Check out this awesome Space Jam website. Number six, if you wanted to know something, you asked Jeeves. Way back when, before Google became a verb, people actually had a choice of search engine. If you ever use Lycos, Ask Jeeves, or AltaVista, welcome to the club of internet, old brother. Number seven, going viral meant something very different. No YouTube, no Reddit, and before gifts and memes carried snarkiness across borders, if you wanted to go viral, there was only one way to do it, forwarded emails. Yes, chains with hundreds of people's emails on show, sharing awful jokes, outrageous images, and worse. No doubt there are people you know that are still doing this. Just make sure it's not you. If you think you know someone who's internet old, why not share this with them by forwarded email, fax, or whatever means, or don't, whatever. Do subscribe though, and they just might let me out another day to make another video. <laughs> Dial up in the net. <laughs> Inferiority complex. If you still have one, Jeeves! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna do one. Uh, do that, I'm gonna ask one more. Senoritas. <laughs>